number talks are a safe space bounded by about 15 minutes a day where students of all ages have opportunities to not only learn about number but learn more importantly maybe that they have mathematical ideas worth listening to and that um, mathematics makes sense and that they can make sense of it in their own ways and the conversations that happen around those diverse ways of seeing that kids solve problems I think deepen understandings for all of the students in the classroom and they deepen the mathematical understandings of the teachers as well. It turns on its head the way we've always thought about teaching arithmetic, but in its place, instead of children with a very fragile understanding of number, we end up with students who really understand numbers and computations and the relationships involved and why they work. I first realized how important number talks could be for them, um, and so wanted to use them with older students, but then I realized that as they were starting to make sense for themselves, they also were using mathematical practices, almost every single mathematical practice in the process of doing a number talk, and they were developing one of the most important aspects of, um, of being powerful mathematically by starting to take on the agency the, for their own learning. The baggage that kids bring when they're older of not being good at math, not feeling good about themselves, um, vanishes when they all they have to do is figure out what they see. And then through that, looking at those, the different ways people see, they realize that people have different ways of thinking about math, and they learn to explain their reasoning um, in a very safe setting. I've also had opportunities to use dot cards with high school students who had histories of failure in mathematics. and. The power that happens in terms of students uh, being willing to carry the discourse in a classroom is, I think, thrilling. And I haven't found any other instructional strategy that gets them there. And I do think at the essence of that is there it's it's a topic where they don't have to bring all their math injuries and math fears. It's just what do you see? One girl described it for us as she said, I used to feel like I was the dumb kid in math. Everybody was getting things that I wasn't getting. And I learned through this that I really can see things in math my own way and that's okay. And in seeing things my own way, I realized I can do math and sometimes I even get things before other people around me. So the payoff is just comes in so many different ways to students and I think to teachers. It brings the joy back into teaching.